But pay attention to verse 12, which a lot of the church world have used over the years for prayer. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence and the violent take it by force. A lot of churches use that for prayer. I used to think it was for prayer before. Take it by force. Well, when are the days of John the Baptist? Well, that was then. Okay? The kingdom of heaven suffered violence. The least in the kingdom is greater than John. Pay attention. The kingdom suffered violence. The least in the kingdom is greater than John. John is the greatest of those prophets. Did you observe that? Very important. Now, remember that there are other two people who saw Jesus. One was in Luke 2, 25. And the other was in Luke 2, 36 to 38. Luke 2, 25. And that was Simeon. And the other was in Luke chapter 2, verse 36 to 38. Now, the word violent is a bad translation. The word violent is supposed to be in the Hebrew is the word bestes, B I A S T E S. I mean, in the Greek, it means to wait, an eager passion to know, an eager passion or eager pursuit. That's the meaning of violence, an eager passion or eager pursuit. And that word was never used in the negative, an eager passion or eager pursuit to know. The word suffer, the kingdom suffered violence. The word suffer means to allow or to move. To allow or to move. So he says, till John, not from John. Until John. That is everything until the arrival of John, the Baptist, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence. It means there was an eager pursuit and aggressiveness to enter the kingdom. A pursuit, a desire. Luke 16, 16, used it again. Luke 16, 16. The law and the prophets were until John. Since that time, the kingdom of God is preached and every man pressed into it. Eagerly motivated, pursuant now the word to take is to obtain use for obtaining with favor and favor use for obtaining with favor and favor so the kingdom suffered violence and the violent take it obtain it or the violent obtain it with favor and favor the word suffer is to allow the word suffer is to allow in it means there was a press of all the prophets until John. John didn't press, but all the prophets pressed. He saw him, but the other prophets didn't see him, so they were pressing. And in their prophecies, they were pressing eagerly to see or to enter in, in their prophecies. They were pressing in by their prophecies, eagerly to see or enter in but the least in the kingdom doesn't press he sees john the baptist doesn't have to press to see he saw all other prophets in their prophecies they were pressing to see christ they were pressing to see christ so until john okay until john don't forget jesus is more than a prophet in Matthew 11 verse 9. But what went he out for to see? A prophet? Yea, I say unto you. And more than a prophet. Jesus said it. He is more than a prophet. So fundamentally, the prophets were pressing for something. Fundamentally, the prophets were pressing for something. Those who were pressing among the prophets took hold of it prophetically those who were pressing in their prophecies took hold of the revelation in their prophecies john the baptist didn't take hold in his prophecy he saw jesus 
the old testament prophets took hold of jesus in their message but john saw so that pressing is where the violence where the violence came in so it's in their prophecy that they were pressing and they took a hold of it why because all the old testament prophets who desire to see all of them they desire to see jesus to see the things that they saw people like david david was a prophet in the book of acts chapter 2 verse 30 david was one of them prophets therefore being a prophet and knowing that god had sworn with an oath to him that of the fruit of his loins according to the flesh he will raise up christ to sit on his throne he seen this before spake of the resurrection of christ that his soul was not left in hell neither his flesh did see corruption so david was a prophet now what did he prophesy acts 3 21 whom the heaven must receive until the times of restitution of all things which god has spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began question how did peter know this because this was peter talking how did peter know this by their writings again by their writings so in their writings we will see their press in their writings we will see their desire and in their writings we will see how they spoke of things they were they never experienced in the writings of all the old testament prophets we will see their desire we will see their press we will see their craving and how they spoke of things they never experienced all right so it is in their writings that they are violent and it is in their writing that they took it by force and it is in their writing that you see their eager pursuit so that scripture the kingdom of heaven suffered violence and the violent take it by force is referring to the prophecy of the old testament prophets contextually it's not what we do today we must take it by violence we must take it by force no 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 the old testament prophets in their pursuit and in their eagerness pressed and took hold of the revelation of jesus in their prophecies that means they knew that there was something so in their prophecies they pressed in and prophesied the messiah in their prophecies so look at how brother paul signifies this colossians 126 colossians 126 don't forget jesus said about their pursuit he said they desired to see but didn't see they desired in their pursuit they didn't see with their physical eyes but they had revelation pay attention isaiah who was like a senior among the prophets isaiah after pursuing to see and they didn't see concluded by saying eyes have not seen nor ear heard neither have entered the hearts of men the things that god has prepared then paul answered isaiah and said but god hath revealed them to us kaboyata but god hath revealed them to us by the spirit see isaiah say well after pressing pressing eyes have not seen ears have not heard neither has it entered the heart of man the things that god has prepared for those who love you paul now answered isaiah and said but god had revealed them to us by his spirit see what they desired what they craved for what they pressed for has been revealed to us look at colossians 1 25 to 26 whereof i am made a minister according to the dispensation of god which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of god even the mystery which had been hid from ages and from generations it has been hid from them but now is made manifest to his saints 
If the saints are in this building, shout glory! Shout glory! Ephesians chapter 3 verse 3 to 4. How that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery as I wrote a fall in few words. Whereby when you read you may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ. In the Old Testament it was a mystery. But now it is made known to the sons of men. It's now made known to the sons of men. First Peter 1 10 to 12. We'll read that a little later. First Peter 1 10 to 12. But let's look at Hebrews 1 1 to 2. God, who at sundry times and in diverse manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, Polytrophos and Polytimonus. It means glimpses of the truth. Glimpses. And our translation calls it portion little portion portions of the truth glimpses of the truth the old testament prophets had glimpses of the truth that was the height of their pursuit in their pursuit the best that their cravings and desire could bring to them were glimpses of the truth so every one of them prophets who pressed who violently took hold of the kingdom in their prophecy only had a glimpse only had a portion it is when you collect all their portions put together that you arrive at the revelation of christ psalm 78 verse 2 see what they said i will open my mouth in a parable i will utter dark sayings of the old the word skia it means dark speeches so we read about a prophet of the old testament all of them communicated in dark speeches why because they were in pursuit of the truth and the best they could have were glimpses or a portion so look at abraham a prophet question was abraham a prophet under the law huh was abraham a prophet under the law no exactly no abraham was not under the law so he was not a prophet under the law so we will make a distinction between prophets before the law and prophets under the law so let's get back first peter 1 10 of which salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently who prophesied of the grace that should come to you they searched and inquired the word inquired is the greek word exeto e-x-z-e-t-o it means to ask after or to ask diligently so they were asking questions in their prophecies in their prophecies the old testament prophets were asking questions so their writings were inquiring for some things somebody like Isaiah will say who has believed our report to whom is the arm of the lord revealed inquire they were inquiring the other word is search the word search is the greek word e-z-e-r-a-u-n-a-o it means to investigate to search so they were investigating for christ in their prophecies it means you carry in your hand an isaiah that was investigating for salvation you carry in your hand an isaiah that was investigating for salvation isaiah will say in one breath your ears are heavy your sins have separated you from god then in another breath isaiah will say the spirit of the lord is upon me for he has anointed me to preach in chapter 61 of isaiah so it sounds like a contradiction but it wasn't a contradiction it was an investigation it was a search for christ they were in a pursuit they were full of desire so in their prophecy they were seeking and searching and inquiring for christ to see him so jesus said they desired but never saw the best they could get were glimpses 
glimpses. Verse 11 of that first Peter chapter 1. Searching what or what manner of time the spirit of Christ which was in them did signify when it testified beforehand the sufferings of Christ and the glory that should follow. Searching was a major theme in their writings. A major theme. The spirit of Christ was not in them. Actually, they had the spirit which testified of Christ. That's the way it should be interpreted. They had the spirit which testified of Christ. Then verse 12. Unto whom it was revealed that not unto themselves, but unto us they did minister the things which are now reported unto you by them that have preached the gospel unto you which the holy ghost sent down from heaven which things the angels desire to look into so the revelation is not in their writings they wrote their inquiries but now we have the revelation of what they wrote in the epistles so in the epistles you understand what they were saying i mean imagine what they were searching for the sufferings of christ and the glory that will follow of his salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently who prophesied of the grace that should come unto you 11. searching what or what manner of time the spirit of christ one which was in them did signify when he testified beforehand the sufferings of christ christ mentioned twice in one verse to establish emphatically that what they were seeking and searching for was christ now imagine david is in a deep crisis david the prophet he fell in a cave in a deep crisis between life and death he was not even sure of coming out of the cave he was not sure of surviving that crisis that accident but the greatest desire of his heart in spite of his situation was the revelation of christ that was his search so yet because of that strong search in his spirit in a crisis situation he cried out to the spirit of prophecy my god my god why has thou forsaken me which was an insight david by prophecy laid hold in his pursuit of christ's cry on the cross because that was the search in their heart they were seeking for christ all the prophets so hebrews eleven thirty nine now tells us and this all having obtained a good report through faith received not the promise that means that the books of the old testament prophets did not have an answer in them they didn't have an answer in them look at verse 40 god having provided some better thing for us that they without us should not be made perfect perfect means to reach the destination they didn't reach the end so their prophecies were search engines like google their prophecies were search engines 